Welcome back. Today we are doing the new brush draw face sets and I'm in 2.92 alpha, but you should still see it in yours. So let's just do new file general in our blender and let's go ahead and save it. We'll just call it draw face sets and let's set up Suzanne for sculpting. So let's turn on our matte caps if you want to and give ourselves some resolution with the multi res cranked up to five. You know how we do it, staying alive. So now we've got it ready for sculpting. Let's flip in the sculpting with control tab down and let's get our new brush here. So it's all the way down here at the bottom and that is draw face sets. So when you first click it and start clicking and drawing, nothing's really happening. So you may have to go over to your overlays here and make sure your face sets are turned on. Mine were on, but I'm using the alpha version, so I think it was just a little buggy, but yours should still come on. Uh, but that's how you get them if you need to. Uh, but essentially what these are, they're kind of like super cool masks. They're like colorful masks. So anytime you click and drag, notice it's changing colors to a new face group. So you can really just think of these as independent masks, depending on the color. They're all color coded. So say if you wanted, you know, different parts of your design, um, you know, you can re kind of make multi mass that you can just have at all times. So let's use this in a practical sense. So let's just go ahead and clear all of these face sets by hitting W. That's like the quick pie menu for face sets. And you can just do face set from visible. This is kind of like the reset. So just reset. And what I want you to do is just click and drag and highlight the face of Suzanne here. So just click and drag. So notice when you're painting these face sets, they're actually looking at the reference of your original base mesh. So that's why we're getting these huge chunks whenever we start painting. And notice I, when I clicked away and I clicked again, it did another color, but I want this face to all be the same color. So the way you fix that is just hold control over whichever color you want to extend. So if I just hover over this, press control. So go ahead and hit control and then click. It's extending that face set color. So now I can just click and drag all through there and just highlight, you know, all this part of the face, just like that. But just kind of get rough outline of the face here and just hold control and extend. And that's looking pretty good. So something like that it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to click and drag control from this side. Just kind of clean that edge up. And another cool thing you can do is um, while you're painting, you can hold shift and that will soften the edges. It's kind of hard to see here, but see how this is very sharp. You could increase your brush, hold shift, and it's slowly just softening these face sets. So that can come in really handy, especially when you have a more dense uh, base, base mesh. We're kind of low poly here for the Suzanne. So now we've got our face mask um, and you can hit H and just hide, you know, whichever face mask you're on and just start using any of these brushes to sculpt on. Um, you can also um, do Alt H to bring everything back. You can hide this face mask by just hitting H all over it. So notice here we were missing a piece so right there. So we can bring everything back with Alt H and you'll just get used to kind of, you know, flipping on and off your mask with H. H is just hide. But now what I want you to do is just isolate the eyes. And you can also do this with your symmetry. So go ahead and turn on your X symmetry and let's highlight these eyes with a new face set. So since these eyes are technically separate materials or separate meshes, we can highlight these separately. So to do that, you, ho you hover over the eyeball and do shift W and notice it will start to slowly grow a mask. Uh, but if you just hold control, so notice if I'm just highlighting the pupil here and then I do control, it's going to do the entire separated mesh. So that's a quick way to just highlight the entire thing is just shift W and then hit control and that will fill out the selection there and just click. And so now we've got three different face sets. We've got our eyes right here. We've got our face. So I'm just hitting H each time and H right there. So H, 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 H to quickly flip between your different masks. 
And you can also do the same thing for like body parts like arms or legs or ears here. So just hover over the ear, do shift W and you'll notice it's starting to grow, you know, as you hover over the ear here. And you could just go to maybe right there. And again, if you held control, it, notice it's gonna just take over the entire mesh other than the eyes. So control is just kind of taking everything connected uh, but we don't want to do that. We just want to do this one little ear here. So we'll just click and drag there. Just hold shift and smooth it out a little bit. Maybe do the back. And there you go. So now we've got, you know, more face sets that we can control independently. And the really cool thing is when you start sculpting with these. So I could obviously, you know, hide a mesh and then go in here and start, you know, drawing just lines across, you know, Suzanne's face. And I'm not affecting anything on the other material. So if I, you know, hit H again, notice it's only applying the draw strokes onto the mesh here, which is really cool. Um, another way you can do this is when you have a brush selected, like say the blob here, or actually let's do a different one. Let's do like layer. And if you go to your brush little tools here, you can say auto masking with face sets. Just check, check that box. And you may have to do it for each brush you're working with. But now, depending on which part of the face mask you start on, you can just draw right on top of these meshes here. And notice it's not interfering with the second mesh here. It's just stopping with whatever mesh I'm working on. So this is a really quick way to isolate different parts of your designs and being able to sculpt different things without affecting the other parts. So if I just wanted to, you know, enhance this part right here and make like a helmet or armor, so notice it's just doing it around the part where I started. So that is super cool. And another thing you can do is use the mask tool kind of inside of your draw face set. So with your draw face set selected, you can do control shift and that will create a little lasso and you can mask out certain objects like this. And then you can hit W and do a face set from this mask. So we can say face set from mask and notice there we've got another face set. And if you ever want to change up these colors, you can just go to face sets and randomize colors and just keep randomizing the colors until it's something you like. But really these are just super cool multi-layered mask that you can use inside of your sculpting to kind of section off different parts of your design. So I hope you enjoyed that. And again, just want to reiterate, if you want more fine details, you would have to you know, have a more geometry on your base model to begin with. So that's why this is very blocky and very, you know, chunky, these little sharp angles. So that is the draw face sets tool. It's very powerful. We're going to use this later in the upcoming lessons, but I just wanted you to be familiar with it and all the different things that it can do. So let's go into the next tool, which is the box mask and the box lasso.